Kate, how is AI powering drone warfare in Ukraine? AI actually enhances and augments separate functions on the battlefield, like autonomous navigation or target recognition with the help of computer vision. Uh, and currently, these functions are not put all together, so we don't see fully autonomous systems. Uh, the reason for that is that technology is not perfect. AI is really hard. Uh, it's expensive to develop. You need to have uh, a lot of resources. You need to have talent pool. You need to invest a lot of money, basically, uh, especially on the side of commercial sector. And that's why uh, we can see the spread and the appearance of fiber optic drones. And that's the answer for this challenge with AI, uh, because when you cannot come up with perfect software that you can trust and that you can rely on, you simply put a drone on a cable and that's how you provide this connection, which is impossible to jam because AI partially solves the, solves the problem of electronic warfare. So the drone can fly autonomously without connecting connection with the operator. The same does the fiber optic drone, but with different technology. The AI, which we can see on the battlefield, is based on mostly open source available technologies, which are just trained and tailored and customized for battlefield needs. But to dive deeper and to develop this technology, this is where you need know-how, this is where you need a lot of investment and really develop deep tech.